got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Slap on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Problems on Problems podcast. I am your host, Mike Santi. And number one, Merry Christmas. Last week, Happy Hanukkah two weeks ago. Happy Hanukkah. My bad. My apologies to you guys. And happy Kwanzaa tomorrow. And that would explain a lot of what's happening with this get up. But yeah, it's another episode. We're back. And we're talking about mm, something that comes along with the holiday season. Especially for you young people. I would say young single people, but I don't trust that happens only in single circles. But the holidays, they bring about, the holiday season brings about a little bit of nostalgia. You're feeling a little better. Maybe you are. Maybe you're on the other side of the spectrum where you're not feeling good at all during the holiday season. But usually, you know, some people start to get that little inkling of the past. Let's rekindle some old flames. And they normally come in the form of a hey stranger text. And I'm here to tell you guys today, ignore that. Ignore the hey stranger text. It is not for you. A hey stranger text is basically the modern day like booty call. It's the holiday equivalent of a you up. They're only looking for one thing. And it's, you know exactly what it is. Part of, part of these little mm, hey stranger texts, the ones that are like, hey, it's been a while. Hope you're having a good holiday. Hope you're thinking blah, blah, blah. Imagine toxic future text memes. Um, and this is what your hey stranger text is really about where they're only looking for one thing, and you know exactly what that is. I know we're only two minutes into this episode, and we're really talking about this, but what else did you come here for? Like I told you guys last week, if you're here for clean family funness, just watch the intro and stop watching after that, because it's only going downhill from there. But yeah, the Hey Stranger text. It's It rekindles old flames, but it is the master move of the submariner. For those of you that don't know what that is, go back to episode 12, the ghosting episode, or you can just wait until I explain it to you here. But a submariner, it's that person that kind of disappears, dips out of the picture, and then pops back up every once in a while, acting as if nothing happened. And the hey stranger text during the holidays is exactly that. It is, hey, I know I ghosted you for the majority of the season, but I'm back in town. I'm thinking about you. I'm bored. That's really what it is. I'm bored, lonely, and can I say that? I'm bored, lonely, and horny. That's really what it is. YouTube, demonetize me, whatever. It is them popping back up as if nothing happened to continue to ruin your life. And listen, if you're about it, that's cool and everything like that. But if you're wondering how to deal with them, avoid it. Don't respond. Don't respond to them. Because you know what? Is anything really going to change? Did they change at all? Is this different than the last holiday Hey Stranger text you got? Is it different than the summer We Should Hang Out text that never happened? No, it's not. So don't play into it, guys. I mean, I guess we can... Let's out Mike real quick. If you don't remember from episode 12, I very much am... I used to be a submariner, all right? It used to be, oh gosh, college Mike, younger Mike, I don't know, whatever. Very much a submariner where we, I talk to you and then I disappear and then I come back. And almost every time there was mm, some, there was some form of <coughs> number of people that I would text during the holidays. And so I'll tell you from a former Still can't say it. From a former promiscuous gentleman, I'm pretty much stalling to say, from a former fuckboy, don't fall into it. It is a trap. It is nothing short of that. Uh, It is nothing short of me trying to spark up some old conversation to get you to forget that Let's phrase that again. It is there, because I don't do that anymore. Wholesome man. Mike. New new Mike, we know. Um, I'm on the sidewalk, if you didn't see last week's episode. But, 
for those that are sending out the hey stranger text and everything like that it is really just their attempt to get you to forget that they were a piece of shit for the majority of time but now it's holiday season they're really banking on your holiday cheer or even worse holiday loneliness to to see what's up and if anything you know what for that matter while we're at it don't let the hey stranger text fool you but also don't let this whole like you up kind of if you're falling for you up text have some more self-respect it is you are better than that. I know this is that now we're in this like weird motivational speaking tangent. Don't fall for it. And you know what? Now that we're on the topic, don't fall the don't fall for the you hungry text because that shit is just a you up text, but with food and they know your weakness. They know you're always going to eat hungry bitches, guys and girls. All right. But yeah, don't fall for it because it's going to lead to what do you think it's going to lead to it's going to lead to oh, let's hang out or we should do whatever it's going to turn into this like netflix and chill hulu and woohoo amazon prime and sexy time disney plus and bust oh god it's going to lead to that all because you wanted to get some cookout and then get cooked out why does it make you feel better did it change anything Absolutely not. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Mom, don't listen to this ever. But I'm just here to tell you guys that it's coming. If it didn't happen on Thanksgiving, it's going to happen during the Christmas season. It might even happen during New Year's. But all these cold, wintry, family-friendly holidays that fill you with joy and cheer and everything like that bring out some real dirt bags. Uh, so, yeah. Just be on the lookout and listen. Instead of y'all trying to play just the tip, go ahead and listen to this awful segue of this new segment that I have, Just the Sip. I hate myself for that. I Shameless plug. Go ahead and watch it and we'll be back. Welcome back to Just the Sip Wine Season, the segment in which friends bring or send wine ideas over in an attempt to make Mike like wine. Or maybe just find a wine that I like. A couple weeks ago, we've done Reds. You know, we've done that stuff. Let's do some diversity in there. I know there are plenty of other reds and all that, but like, you know, whenever I have access to the wine, I'm going to try it. And I judge them based off of three, maybe four criteria. We'll see if it ends up branching off into four. But criteria number one, it's design. Logo, bottle design, all that stuff. I know there's only going to be so many bottles that you can design in wine, but like logo design, everything like that. Two, openability slash smell. We're going to combine those. Openability slash smell. Really just how difficult is it for Mike to open up this bottle? And three, does it taste well? Does it taste good? Does it taste good? Jesus. It's been a long recording. But yeah, this week is our first white wine. It is uh, Pinot Grigio from Cupcake Vineyards. I mean, if you don't know about Cupcake, I mean, you've never walked into a grocery store had something on sale you haven't walked into a gas station listen it's not that high end of wine cupcake proved me wrong but this bad boy states that our pinot grigio is crafted from grapes sourced from the foothills of the italian alps making for a uniquely flavorful wine can you tell i have a corporate voice hmm. refreshing flavors of pear cantaloupe and pineapple lead to a crisp finish with subtle notes of honey and lemon zest <laughs> Pair with Caesar salad, chicken fettuccine, or a poolside cabana. I feel like y'all are just throwing stuff out there to pair it with. Like, y'all just want people to get drunk. Plus, all this sounds basic, like a Caesar salad, chicken fettuccine, chicken fettuccine, or a poolside cabana. All of it sounds basic. All that to say, it's a white wine. I have no help today. So, who knows what's going on with this? Do white wines have legs? I fuck if I care. <laughs> just by looking at oh, it just looks like a bad time Whew, okay let's do it for the culture nailed it you know i'm eventually gonna get this thing culturally right but let's have a taste <laughs> so <laughs> it was, You know what they mean by crisp? Dry. I don't get why people drink wine. It's dry as fuck. <sighs> There's a lot of things going on right now, but I mean, most of it is bad. Let's see. 
I really wish I would have given it some rating. I would have thought so much nicer of it if I hadn't tasted it before the ratings. But I'm going to say, I apologize for all these mouth noises too. You know, I guess creativity on the name. That's cool. The logo is fine. It's just not for me. Like, I know that, like, you know, based off of the type of wine and stuff like that, it's different colors, yada, yada. Cool, bro. It's not really doing bits for me, but it's okay. I do like the little scribbly, little scribbly cupcake right here. A little scribbly cupcake that's cool and all other than that though designs fine it's like average the open ability it's a twist off so i mean i'm about it high points on open ability smell wise <laughs> nah marks are coming off for smell uh and then obviously taste i'm not about it i honestly you know comparing to the other ones this is still probably uh this might be tied for that uh that cab just in the fact that it's still dry um i guess i thought it was hard for a white wine to be dry that's not true it's just you know what there's more flavor in it i'm coming around um i'm gonna say middle of the pack this might be like a, a five point a 5.6 out of 10. i'm all right with it i mean it's, it's offsetting the sweetness but also it just tastes not not good not to me in my opinion i don't drink wine so you know this is why we're here but yeah we're just gonna do that one that's it for today so <laughs> now you know cupcake pinot grigio 5.6 out of 10 from mike and i will send you back to whatever segment i normally do after this and we're back i don't know why like as if you don't need an intro from that or whatever but yeah still don't like wine it hasn't changed. Why Why do I act like it's going to change? Because I like watching myself suffer while drinking wines. But we move into the segment that we always move into after the break, and that is the great debate. Last week, we talked about the sidewalk versus the streets, and I'm, I'm not outing anybody. That's not, this, is not the, this is not the place to just start calling people out. But I will say, 53% of you said you're for the streets. And in which case, I need to take a better look at my demographic again or who's voting on this because I could have sworn that some of y'all were, I don't know, past the talking phase, maybe dating somebody. But, you know, your business is your business. Who knows? I'm just me living my life. 53% of y'all the streets. You know what? The streets could be for couples, too. If you're about that life, go for it. I mean, do it. Do you. Live your life. Whatever. This week... So this came to me, and this will kind of smoothly transition over maybe into the Friday Follows, but I didn't know this about candles, and I'm starting to really doubt my adulting skills or the skills that I thought I had as adulting, but this week, are y'all out here cutting candle wicks? Because apparently you should. Um, I didn't know this. I was, I don't know, today years old when I saw this online. We'll talk more about this later. But first of all, you're supposed to cut your candle wicks, apparently. Like, I haven't done it. I'm, You know what? I probably won't just because I've made it this long without it. But yeah. And other thing, guys, there are instructions on the bottom of your candles, the thing that you light from the top that you're basically only ever staring at the top and the sides of comes with instructions on the bottom of how to not burn your entire house down. Mind you, I've made it this far without burning anything. Knock on wood. Thank God. You know the deal. But yeah, are you guys cutting candle wicks or are you just like me where I'm just out here living a dangerous life apparently? Um, and I say that because it was brought on by our Friday Follows where we're going to shout out Mr. Corey Jones himself at Mr. Dapper underscore on Instagram. Corey is, Corey's been killing the game. He's out here giving you lifestyle advice, minimalist tips, mm. <laughs> lifestyle tips, minimalistic living advice, and all around just very stylish men's fashion. The dude, I mean, his name at Mr. Dapper. Are you really that surprise killing the game on youtube doing bits but he was the one that brought this up to my attention in the fact that he posted on his stories like hey 
do y'all's candle wicks be popping off like this? And it's like a firework. Like if you haven't ever cut wicks before, or if you think your candles are just weird, just know it's because you're not cutting them. And because of the wonders of social media and the internet, he then found out and retold that story of, hey, cut your wicks and that there are instructions on the bottom of them. And I mean, look, if you're not, hold on, that was loud. Instructions on how to do, I mean, it literally tells you like, burn candle within sight. I mean, we got that one. We're good to go on that. Keep away from things that can catch fire. Also good on that. Then in caps, it literally says, always trim wicks to a quarter inch before each relighting. What? Since when? Since always? Why don't I know this? We need to put this out there with like taxes and stuff like that. Also cut candle wicks. But yeah, he brought it up to me. Don't let that distract you from the fact that the man's been out here doing bits, killing the game when it comes to style, when it comes to advice, when it comes to lifestyle. Go follow him at Mr. Dapper on Instagram. And with the next one, this one is, uh, yeah, this one's pretty special to me in the sense that it's always cool seeing people that you grew up with or grew up around start to, not start to, but like continue to be successful. I mean, if you guys remember Gavin's shout out from back in the day, another former teammate of mine and an amazing author. If you don't believe it, read the reviews, read his book, do his thing. Holy cow. But we're shouting out Ask Mateo. Ask Mateo. Um, It makes more sense once you know more about him. But the author of Black Buck, if you haven't pre-ordered Black Buck yet, go do that. It's expected to drop January 2021. It is the novel of a black barista who navigates his way through corporate America to become a star salesman at a New York tech startup. There are obviously way more things going on with that book, but I'm not going to give it away, mainly because I haven't gotten my coffee yet, so I haven't read the book. But go follow the man. Go pre-order Black Buck. It is going to be, from every review that I've read, the thing is going to fucking blow up so if you're not on this train remember who told you to pre-order that ish let me know but other than that guys we're good it's still very we'll see if there's a new year's eve episode who knows but other than that guys hopefully you had a great time um, with family friends alone doing whatever you do on christmas if you celebrated hanukkah shabbat shalom what's up guys and honestly If you celebrate Kwanzaa tomorrow or Kwanzaa whenever, do your thing. Live it up. Enjoy life. But yeah, don't forget to follow Problems on Problems at, gosh, where do you follow me? I know, at Problems on Problems Podcast on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe right here at Problems underscore pod on Twitter. And don't forget to follow your boy at MikeSanti18 on all social media. But with that, guys, like I always say, if it's not a good time, hope it's a good story, and I will see you guys next week. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got her racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag? Racks in my sack or my back Snow fall frozen Neck is frozen Catch me rolling I'm the chosen Snow is falling Elfie's calling Check my list